I remember once in Timbuktu, in one of the great libraries there, just before the Ansar al-Din extremists took over and messed everything up, I went into the library, and this is a library with 80,000 manuscripts. It's a miracle, the city of scholars in the middle of the Sahara, Timbuktu. And these two guys went quieter and quieter, and I could see that they were really angry because there wasn't a single book that we saw that they could agree with. <laughs> Maliki Fiqh, no. Ashari theology, no. Sufi poetry, no. No, 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 no. They went past 80,000 books, no. <laughs> this is the situation we're in, and it's sometimes very difficult for younger people to know what the tradition actually is. This beautiful culture of diversity and respect amongst the ulama, the, the beauty of traditional cosmopolitan Islam. The only thing they liked was the Quran manuscripts. So you know, something like that, of course, generates an enormous psychological explosion because they think the ulama are all guilty of treason. All of these scholars who wrote these 80,000 books, wrong, and we're right. Well, oh, strange. You're semi-literate guys brought up in a stony desert, and you know better than Fakhreddin, all of these people. Well, that mentality exists.